Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day five of Empower. Um, two things. One is after I said, oh, we're going to go inwards before we go outwards. As soon as I had named that as a movement, I suddenly realized we have to go out. Um, it's just wonderful naming things and feeling things and being aware of things. And then suddenly change happens. And then the other thing is the mink killed all our chickens. Oh, it's terrible. So the rooster and the last three chickens that the fox didn't get, the mink got yesterday. Um, so that was sad. Yeah. Mm, poor things. Um, so yeah, so, so now we're going to wait a while and do some stuff and I'll keep you updated on the chicken front. Um, so yes, so come lie on your back and we shall begin. We're going to do this connecting into the core. Oh no, don't lie on your back. <laughs> um, sit up for a moment and we're just going to look at some movements that are easier explained here when I'm just beside the screen. So sitting up with your legs long or your legs in cross-legged, it doesn't really matter. And then reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So we're up towards the ceiling with our arms and my baby fingers are pointing forward in the beginning. Okay, right? So then I bend my elbows and my palms are now forward into swan, but then glide outwards and my palms are gonna be facing upwards when I'm all the way out, okay? So bend your elbows, reaching up, really, really tall, blades of your fingers are forward and then glide swan and then outwards, okay? Bend your elbows, going up super, super strong, upwards, and then bend your elbows and outwards, okay? So when you're all the way out, I'm gonna get you to turn your right shoulder under and your left arm is still where it is. Come back to neutral, and then turn your left shoulder under, and then come back to neutral, and then glide like you're like a tea towel being wrung out by the movement. And naturally, my head is going to turn towards the palm that's facing upwards. So just feel that. And I just feel the spiraling of your arms. And I reach again from my center every time. I soften and then reach again. Soften and then reach. So next time you're facing your right hand, bend your right elbow and bring your hand to your head. And bring your left hand behind your back. So you're kind of in the right place with that. Straighten your arms back to where they were. Spiral in the other direction. Now you're facing your left palm. Bend your elbow, bring your hand to your forehead and right hand comes to your back. And now spiral, bending, straighten, spiral, bending, straightening, spiral, bending, straightening, spiral. Nice, drop your arms down, pause. Arms are so heavy. When you leave them out there for a while, it's like, wow, my arms are so heavy. So just feel that in your shoulders and your arms. And just deepen your breath into your belly. So now I want you to feel from your belly into your chest. And just get a sense, you know, what have you moved in the center of you to reach out into your periphery? Nice. So come lie on your floor now. <laughs> Great. Come all the way down. So landing in, bring your arms wide again and out into a T. Same shape as what we were in a moment ago. And then roll your right hand under and roll your shoulder forward. Bring it back. And then roll your left hand under and let your shoulder roll forward. So just roll one shoulder, an arm forward, and then one shoulder, an arm forward. So I'm just rolling my palm faces down. I roll across my thumb, and it's like the back of my hand is trying to come to the floor. Just feel that. Can you roll? And then try both. Both shoulders roll forward, and both shoulders roll backwards. Forwards backwards. Notice how your spine is being moved. So exaggerate the movement of your spine by flattening down and then arching. So you're spiraling your hands forward and you're flattening down. You're spiraling your hands back and you're arching. It's naturally going to happen, this movement in your spine anyways. You're just exaggerating the movement. 
Nice pause. Super. Drop your knees down to the right. Back to center. Drop your knees down towards the left. Center. Knees to the right. Center. I wrote rights and lefts on my hands again today. It's really, really nice to see that that hand is called left because it has the word left on it. It's very reassuring for me in my dyslexia. So nice. Come back to center. So drop your knees down to the right and turn your head towards the right and then turn your left hand back to front. So your shoulders are rolling forward and then drop your knees to the left and turn your right shoulder back to front. Back to front, no forward. So as you roll your knee to the right, your left arm rolls forward and the thumb comes to the floor. And then roll your knees to the left, roll your shoulder, right shoulder forward, bring your thumb to the floor. Just feel that, it's almost like you're about to roll over. So feel that, you can begin to draw your chest a little bit more but your arm stays behind you so i'm rolling and my arm is staying behind me and that movement of my thumb i can even bring my hand to my lower back as i roll onto my right shoulder my left arm comes to my lower back and as i roll to the left my right hand comes to my lower back you just feel it in your body how is it to Roll your shoulder deeply as you roll to the left, as you roll to the right. Next time you roll to the right, bring your left hand behind you and just pause there. So my knees are to the right, my left arm, right arm is long in front of me, my head is floating in the air, my left hand is resting into my lower back and that left knee it feels like gravity is able to take it down and deepen it towards the floor. So can you allow that left knee to surrender to gravity? Nice. Come all the way back. Both arms wide. Drop your knees to the left. Roll over onto your left shoulder. And now bring your right arm behind you. And just let your right knee surrender to gravity. Nice, come all the way back, arms long beside you, feet are hip distance apart, roll up and down along your spine. So as you push down into your feet, as you lift through the pelvis, lift through the spine, just feel that deeply in you. How do you massage along your spine? How do you connect? I'm squeezing my bum on the way up but I'm keeping my bum squeezed on the way down and it creates more connectivity. So I'm squeezing my bum on the way up and then I'm keeping it squeezed on the way down. And as a result, everything slows down and I have more connectivity, feel that. Squeezing your hips and your buttocks as you lower down. Nice, one more time. Super. So walk your feet a tiny bit closer towards each other and then draw your right knee up towards you. Uh, actually, no, lift your hips half, lift your hips all the way up. Sorry about this. Lift your hips all the way up and then lower it halfway down. Brace your elbows into the floor and draw your right knee up towards your chest. And then lengthen your right leg long so it's the same height as your left thigh. So zoomies. We're going to include the elbows as well. So bring your right elbow to your right knee. And then lengthen your arms overhead and lengthen out into that right leg. And see if you can feel squeezing of the centers, squeezing of the core. And then long and really powerful all the way out into your fingertips, all the way down into your toes. Squeeze the core and then long. Squeeze. Long, bum is lifting as you lengthen your leg. One more time, squeeze. 
and long. Nice. Bend your knee. Bring your arms long beside you and then draw your left knee up towards you. Bum is floating in the air. Straighten your left leg long so it floats long and strong. <clears throat> Same height as your right thigh. Bend your left elbow, elbow to your knee. And then long. Fingers are reaching, toes are reaching. Bend it in, touch. Long. Bend it in, touch. Long, feel the extension of the center out into the periphery. Squeeze it in, long. Nice, bend your knee, arms are wide, drop your bum and move into gliders. So knees drop down to the right. Swing the left knee up towards the right shoulder. Come all the way back. Drop your knees to the left. Swing your right knee up towards the left shoulder. And come all the way back. Travel. From one side to the other side. Notice what the... So when I glide my left knee over towards the right, notice what the left arm is doing. So that movement we did earlier where we began to notice our back arm as we twisted. Notice that back arm. So when my knee glides, <coughs> sorry, towards the right, it's the left arm, that's the back arm. And when my knee glides towards the left, it's the right arm, that's the back arm. So we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do something different in our gliders. So drop your knees to the right and then turn your left palm to the floor. So it's flat to the floor and kind of super glue your left hand to the floor. God, every time I say that, I think it's such a terrible analogy. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, just imagine super gluing your hand to the floor. Anyways, so left hand is super glued to the floor and now draw your left knee up towards the right, but keep that sense of the left hand is really solid on the floor. Nice. Come all the way back, palm faces the ceiling. And then the other side, drop your knees to the left, turn your right palm, super glue it down. And now draw your right knee up towards the left side. And then come all the way back. So that changes gliders. Let's see how it feels. As you drop your knees to the left, left palm is down, super glue it down, draw your left knee up. And as you draw your knees to the left, super glue your right hand down. And just begin to glide now with one hand super glued. And super glued means it doesn't move from where it's touching. How does it do that? Suddenly the focus of my gliders has utterly changed. Suddenly the experience of being in gliders has a new layer of understanding and connection. One more time each side. Back hand super glue, draw your knee up. Back hand super glue, draw your knee up. Super cool. Pause. Just settle yourself in. Just feel that. Wow, my shoulders are liking this. It's really interesting. So nice. So roll over and come up into your downward dog. So all the way over. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and then stretch back into your downward dog. And just really allow, appreciate, include movement in your downward dog. And so leaning into things, feeling into things, moving into things. Nice. Drop your knees to the floor and round your back. Tuck your chin under, look towards your navel, and then draw your right knee up towards you. And your foot is coming towards your bum and your knee is coming towards your elbow. Pause there. And now straighten that right leg long. 
And as you straighten your leg long, let your chest lift a little bit. I'm not arching and looking forward. I'm just lengthening the front of my body by really engaging my hands and having a sense of length from the top of my head into my toes. Bend your knee, round your back, squeeze deeply, and then lengthen super long with that leg. Let it move out of your belly from the top of your head to the toes. Nice, one more time. Squeeze, foot to your bum, knee to your chest, knee to your elbow. Lengthen long, super long with your leg. But I'm not arching to lift. I'm going straight back from the hip and I'm feeling like the back of my body and the front of my body are creating length down into that leg. Nice, draw a circle with that leg. Let the circle be from the hip, not with the head and spine. So how do you circle your leg so that it's your leg that's moving? And circle in the other direction. And then how do you circle your leg by using your spine? So I feel like a snake when I do that. And I feel like I'm throwing my leg around with the momentum or the weight of my spine moving. Oh, such a different movement. Nice, other side. And draw the left knee around your back and then draw the left knee up towards your elbow, foot towards your bum, pause. Stretch your legs straight out from your hip and create length, not arching of the back, but length through the front of your body, length through the back of your body, from the top of your head to your toes. Nice, bend your knee, squeeze. Lengthen from the top of your head to your toes. And one more time, squeeze, draw everything in. And then lengthen. So there's two types of movement we're going to create here. One is where you only move your leg. So draw a circle with your leg. And then circle in the other direction. Nice. And now, wow, this side, as always, is confused. Use your spine to move your leg. <laughs> then, so for me then, it's suddenly it's the right hip that has to move more when I'm doing this one. Ooh, God, sit back. <laughs> sit back into your jaws pose. Oh, that one is really tough on, on the other buttock, on the other hip. Pause. Landing in, resting. So here in Ireland today, it's a bank holiday because the 1st of February is St. Bridget. It's like one of the national saints. And she's actually, she was a goddess, one of the pagan goddesses, one of the pagan awesome ladies of ancient Ireland. And so, yeah, so today is a bit like a Monday yum, but we're, we're moving a bit more than a Sunday yum. But yeah, a lot of you are off work, There's space today. Maybe go out and connect with nature. Go find spring springing in your environment. You know, the daffodils are all budding up. The, um, the wild garlic is on the way, I heard. Push back into your downward dog. You know, find some buds. The, the lamb's tails on the willows are out, I noticed yesterday. My garden is just really begin, like the soil is coming in so deeply to be yeah, it's just amazing. It's just gorgeous, this oil at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, what do you what do you do in your local area to connect with your bit of nature? There's little flowers. I saw flowers on the black thorn. I saw flowers on some pink bush. So yeah, notice flowers in your area. What's been sprung in your area today? Take some time. Nice. Come sit on your bum and stretch your leg out long. Nice. Roll into your ankles. And roll in the other direction. So later on in the week, we're going to do some tree poses. 
in honor of spring and all that. But we're gonna just look right now at how we roll our leg out for tree. So turn your right toe outwards and bring your baby toe to the floor. And notice how your knee has to bend to do that. Just not really like, just repeat, touch your baby toe, touch your baby toe. So your knee has, to, for your baby toe to come down, your knee has to turn outwards. So touch your baby toe and then just bring your toes to the ankle on the other side. So my right toes have touched the ankle on the left. My knee is out to the side. I'm on the baby toe side. Stretch your leg. And just do that a few times. Touch the baby to the ankle with your toes. And feel already how your knee has to work to do this. Maybe touch a bit higher. Maybe you slide your right foot up as far as the knee. And then out. And just feel that. Without using your hands, what is the range and the strength and the capacity of this leg to turn itself outwards and slide up towards you? If you want to lean back, you'll actually get more range because your abdominal muscles, yeah, when you're sitting like this, there is a, a block in the, in the flexors that'll happen. So lean back and I can rise up almost as far as above my knee. And then pause wherever you land and pause there and feel how your knee is squeezing. Let your knee squeeze itself. If you want, you can float your foot where it is, even more intense. You can push your foot into the other leg, even more intense. We're engaging different muscle groups as we do that. So either your foot is just there on the floor, squeezing the knee, or your foot is floating, or your foot is pushing also into the, into the other thigh. Nice, stretch your leg out long. Other side, so sitting up tall, baby toe side down. Down, down, and then touch the ankle. Just feel that, how is this movement in your body? And then slide your foot up. And then lean back and slide your foot up. Nice. Next time your foot slides up, pause. And so stay active. Don't collapse then. Stay active. So like you're trying to almost like pull it up more towards you, but you're resting on the floor. Or lift your foot, foot off the floor so you're hovering. Or push your foot also into the inner knee of the other side with your foot floating and your knee squeezing. So it's a really active leg that we'll be using in the tree pose later on this week. And these are the actions we'll be doing. Squeezing, lifting, pushing, standing. <laughs> Great, stretch your leg out long, shake out your legs. Let's go for a little walk. Nice, come lie on your back, all the way down. Land on your back, arms are wide. And I'm just gonna rock my knees from side to side and just iron out anything that's dangling or hanging over on my knees there. And then just stretch your legs up towards the ceiling and just bend and straighten your legs in normal tracking. So knees, they can tolerate a little bit of external rotation and twisting but then they really want to know what's normal for them again. So we're just coming back to normal. Straightening, bending, straightening. We're cleaning up the range as we do this. Feet to the floor. Hmm. Stretch your legs out long, drop your arms overhead and just pause there in a long position and feel how just bringing your arms overhead and just straightening your legs will lengthen your belly. You are reaching upwards right now. Let your breath deepen into your belly. Nice. 
So, today, on this bank holiday for Bridget's Day, for those of you in Ireland, those of you in other places, you still find spring very easily somewhere close to you. Um, and so, yeah, go find the springing of spring in your environment. Find the things that are growing, things that are, are, are moving towards the light. Uh, have a great day. Um, be well. Uh, connecting in as we move outwards. I like it. I really like it. Great. Have a great day. Ciao. See you tomorrow. Yeah.